Well, it was a super awesome day. Got to test the trailer, kind of figuring out where the sweet spot is, loading it up. Came out and ran a cool trail with the boys, you know, it was awesome. So uh, here we go, got her loaded up, got Dano situated and hit the highway and head home. Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Dick's 4x4 Garage. My name is Dave, and today I wanted to show you my new trailer that I got. It's a PJ, it's an 18-footer, and a 7,000-pound rating, and it weighs 1,800, so technically I could put 5,200. I weighed the Jeep. The Jeep weighs 5,100, so we're in good shape. Got it connected to the, the old girl right here, and uh, she's doing well towing everything i did have to do about 10 inches of drop on it to get everything level and uh, the trailer does sit kind of low so i'm thinking about in the future maybe flipping the axles on it get a little higher because that it drags the ground it probably wouldn't be so bad without the ball underneath so maybe i'll cut the ball off or do something like that but anyway so just wanted to show you two pretty nice trailer powder coated it's a pj um one issue i had so really i've probably towed the jeep on here for about 100 miles so far and that's about it um and then i put this on it um to move it so basically i just winched it up here i drove down the driveway and i winched it back off so there's no motor and trans or anything in there so it's probably not too crazy heavy so anyways this is what we got going on i um uh, i rolled under it the other day to take a look um i've already treated the bed with some uh, used engine oil and uh once it like sits for a day like you know, like this is just kind of dirty, but really it just dries nice and it holds up well. So the deck of the flatbed over there, excuse all the mess on the back of it, but the deck on the flatbed, I did the same thing with it and uh, it's been holding up for a while. Um, all right, so I got under here the other day to take a look at it and guess what I found? I found this bit right here. Yeah, so... Um, I don't know. I could see if I put that big truck on it and something bent or whatever, but the thing that's getting me here is that my Jeep wheels, the back wheels, they sit right above this. And as you can see, it's not doing too well. So I'm pretty sure this is all from like a top load, like the, you know, the Jeep tires pushing down on it and it messing up this angle here. So I don't really, I don't really dig it that much. Now, so you can see over there, same thing. And you can almost see like right where the Jeep tires sit, how it's just like freaking pushing this down here. So I really don't dig that that much. I did take it over to the dealer. The dealer is really cool. They, um, they uh i take i had taken a bunch of pictures so they took my pictures they're forwarding it to pj to see what they want to do about warranty and uh i'll let you know but what i'm gonna do what i think i'm gonna do is i gotta take this saturday and take the jeep um probably about a 250 mile round trip and i bought the trailer and it's only like two and a half three weeks old and i'm using the trailer i don't care so what i'm gonna do is you see how there's screws through there, through that angle. And so it basically how it goes is like every other support, they put those screws in and that's fine. And so I think right here, if there were screws in it, that really wouldn't have happened because basically what you're doing is you're, you're obviously tying the wood to this, but basically like so if let's say all the weights on these two boards and they're pushing down then what happens is you can have something like this but if all these are two screws in each board going down then you would transfer the weight across all of the boards as opposed to just these two so it will kind of tie it together the way it is loose now it, it lets the boards move independently of this and it can probably cause an issue so uh, the wood that's on the trailers is a lot of the structure of the trailer for the most part it kind of kind of ties everything together as you can see and so i think what i'm going to do is just kind of straighten this out as best i can um i'm not going to go crazy i'm not going to go overboard i don't know what they're going to do for warranty i don't know if they're going to replace this piece um or what they're going to do and uh if it turned fine if i find out that they're not going to do anything 
um, then I'm going to put a new support in here. I'll probably end up just cutting it out and putting a new one in. But for right now, I think as long as I secure the deck to it, it'll spread the load across the entire deck, kind of just essentially tying all the boards together and, uh, and I shouldn't have any issues. So like, I mean, I don't think it's going to go anywhere right now, but you know, I want to, I don't want the boards to be flexing. I'd rather, you know, address that now. So so basically what I'll be doing is just basically just like this. I have a bunch of leftover deck screws. They're nice T deck screws. Um, they're like a self tapper. So they'll go right through, they'll cut through the wood and then they'll cut through the metal. And it's the same thing that I used on the flatbed over there. And so I'll just do, you know, like, you know, two, 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 all the way down. So I have enough for that. And, um, and that's about it. So you can see like how it's bent. And then a couple of these are a little higher. So I'm gonna have to tweak it down a little bit and then just secure it. So you can see how most of the wheel rides like right on this board. There's a little bit on this board. So like all the weight is right here as opposed to spreading the load, like I said. So other than that, it's doing well. Obviously I'll need to replace the tires you know sooner probably rather than later because they don't put the greatest tires on it so i'd say if you i'm thinking if i get a year out of them and then replace them i'll probably be in good shape so just get some better 10 ply tires and call it good so uh that's it so uh i'm not going to be able to get out here till later tonight i'll get out here we'll do a little work on it i'll show you what we got going on and we'll go from there all right guys what is going on we are back at the trailer i have uh done the fix that i said i was going to do to it i still haven't heard back from the dealership on what they're going to do but i needed to take it out and i needed to use it and so the best way that i thought that i could do that was like i said to put these deck screws in it all along so i got them pretty straight and let me show you underneath what i did and kind of give you my kind of like method of how i how i took care of it here so you can see it's pretty straight it's pretty well tight up against the boards and what I did is I started in the middle with a bottle jack. I had the trailer empty attached to the truck. And I used a bottle jack and uh, basically the weight of the trailer. And I, I put the jack like right about here on it, but obviously in the middle. And I started with the first three boards and got the screws in there. And then what I did is I just kept moving the jack out as I was putting the screws in throughout the other boards. And you remember, um, earlier in this video I showed you this how it was bent now I didn't really actually like pry on any of this stuff to bend it back because what I'm doing is I'm using the wood to spread the load instead of this now obviously this does actually you know add to the structure of it and all that stuff but my main goal was to tie all the boards together to keep it from having an issue and so I towed about 200 miles on it uh, this last weekend and everything went well uh, but I just want to show you how it came out and obviously you know, this part is pulled down a little bit, but the back side is flush up on the wood. And I'll probably go through and just end up putting my screw gun on all these screws and just tightening them down a little bit just to see if like it'll move even more. But everything stayed together and everything did well and everything towed good. So yeah, I just wanted to update you, you know, brand new PJ trailer having an issue with this. And I think that if, uh, if this was screwed down from the factory, um, there wouldn't have been any issue at all, but it wasn't. And uh, so we just kind of fixed it ourselves and I think everything's gonna be just fine. All right guys, so in addition to the trailer fix, I just wanted to kind of give you a general kind of overview um, and just kind of tell you like how things are going, how it's towing, how it's doing. Um, it's The truck overall is doing pretty well. Um, I, th I think with like some headers and a little bit of a cam, it would probably do a lot better as far as, um, you know, having a little more umph. The problem is with that three-speed trans is you don't have a lot of gears in between. So it's either your high RPM or, you know, you're down a little low. And uh, for the most part, it's got some grunt, but it could be better. But I mean, overall, like I'm totally uh, not dissatisfied with what it's doing. The engine stays cool. The trans stays cool, you know as far as it running it does fine the one issue that i'm having i don't really call it an issue is that when i do load the jeep and obviously you know you want to air for a little more tongue weight because you never want to load them you know with 
too much weight in the rear because you could have an issue and i have weighed the jeep so the jeep is proper so the trailer weighs 1800 jeep weighs 5100 the trailer gvw is 7000 so everything is like super copacetic as far as that now the one issue that i'm having here is that the truck is lifted and this trailer does this trailer does sit pretty low um so when i got the jeep up on it and everything's right this ball i'm using this guy right here now this is a really good hitch it's rated for i think it's rated for like ten thousand pounds um and uh 1500 pounds of tongue weight so it is definitely adequate i got a good hitch on here um it's rated for sixteen thousand pounds the truck obviously is probably rated somewhere around eight thousand pounds that's like the best that i could find uh doing some online research so i figure seven thousand pounds is about what i want to tow with this i would never want to never want to tow more than that with this vehicle um so it's got a two inch ball on it which is kind of cool so this is a, um an eight thousand pound rated ball so you know it gives me an extra thousand pounds you know so you don't want to really overload your ball there and uh, and it does good but what happens is when i get the jeep up on it the trailer sits fairly level and then it does lower the back of the truck and then this gets like to here you know drops it down about an inch or two and then it's pretty close to the ground um one thing i have noticed with this um is that it handles the load well as far as um i never have any sway like i feel like i could do an emergency stop emergency maneuver there's um brakes on all uh both axles so all four wheels have brakes um as far as braking um towing how it handles the load it's pretty pretty good but i think i am taking a lot of weight if you look at the way the truck sits it is pretty even or maybe even a touch low in the back right now the trailer's hooked up so it's it's not sitting you know what it would sit like normally so i feel like you know with these older trucks you know there's some of the stuff you know the steering box it's not quite perfect you know it's it's old so you know there's a, a little bit of slop in it and um so i want to get more weight back on the front tires even though like i think it's perfectly fine the way it is but obviously i just want to enhance it so that way i have a better towing experience better driving experience and you guys have know how that goes when you get some squat in the back now i have uh, done some research as far as bags versus like a weight distribution hitch so if you don't know what a weight distribution hitch is um basically you have a head on it and you have torsion bars and they hook to they hook to these saddles and what it does is it, it transfers the tongue weight uh, when you pull put tension on those bars and then it transfers it to the front wheels of the truck and so the weight distribution hitches they actually do a better job than doing airbags because you you take a lot of weight you take more weight off of the rear axles and transfer more to the front versus leveling it with airbags you actually you take a little bit of weight but you actually still have a lot of weight on the back and you actually don't really correct the front so something to keep in mind if it does correct the front it's it's pretty minute so i'm gonna go ahead and put my saddles on here and get it all hooked up the one thing that i'm probably going to have an issue with is the since with this trailer being so low and then once i put the distribution on it it's going to raise the rear end of the truck a little bit to put more pressure on the front and one of the issues that i think i'm going to have is that it's going to be too low i'm going to have a big drop um a big drop shank on it um and i don't want to do that so i think what i'm going to end up doing is i'm going to do an over under conversion or, or an axle flip if you will but basically it's it's under sprung now and then it would take and it would place the leaf spring on top of the axle so it'd probably give me about three and a half four inches of lift on the trailer um, ideally i wouldn't want to really do that but i think to get my overall towing experience better i want to do the weight distribution and get it right and once the weight distribution's on here it also has a sway control on it so it actually adds kind of more protection if you will plus giving you the extra you know steering response and better uh, kind of just better overall drivability you'll have a sway on here as well and so i'm i'm looking forward to that and um 
as far as the height of the trailer i think the deck height if i measure it it's only like 17 inches so it'll go to like 20 inches which isn't really too tall i mean you think if you have a deck over they're taller than that anyways so it does have nice long ramps i think they're like seven feet six feet or something like that they're they're, they're pretty good sized ramps so i shouldn't have any issues coming on the way i load it now is i use the ramps on and then i just um when i get wherever i'm going I just back off the trailer and then obviously I won't be able to do that in the future, but that's fine. I'm also going to get some crank down jacks for the back. That way when I'm loading it, it keeps the, uh, when you're driving on, it keeps it from like lifting the front of the truck. So I don't want to, I don't want to do that. I think it puts too much pressure. I think it puts stress on the trailer overall, the whole frame of the trailer, which I'm sure it can handle. But then you, you put a lot of stress on all this stuff here. And then obviously you're lifting up the rear of your truck. Um, I typically chalk, I'll chalk the back wheels like on one side, both sides. And then I chalk the trailer axles as well whenever I'm loading and unloading just to make sure I don't have an issue. Uh, but I think with the crank jacks, it's gonna make it a lot better, a lot more firmer to drive up and just kind of keep everything, keep everything settled, if you will. But I think that's going to be pretty good. I wanted to kind of give you an overview of the trailer, show you with a kind of fix that I did on here, and just let you know that uh, it's going well. I, I enjoy towing to the trails. Obviously, the truck, it needs better lighting. I had to tow at night, and then obviously, you know, the, the ass end of the truck's down, so the lights aren't doing as good a job because they're pointing up a little bit. Um, these lights, they don't blind anybody. As you can, <laughs> you can barely see the road with them, so... I'm probably going to end up getting better lighting, so um, I had some lighting companies contact me. Maybe I'll contact them and see if we can do like a review video, get some lights for it. But I'm probably, as, as far as that goes, I'm also going to put my uh, Diode Dynamics, the second light bar that I have on here. I'm going to put the, um, put kind of like the flood kind of lighting on it. And then if I get in like a real dark situation where like I'm out in the boonies, um, I can use that. Um, but just in general, brighter lighting and uh, beyond that, I mean, it just, it does what it needs to do. You know, it's not fancy. Uh, the radio, <laughs> the radio works. It's got decent power. The um, turbo 400, it uh, sometimes it makes some weird noises, but for the most part, it always stays cool uh, with that big cooler on it. So there's the big cooler. It goes all the way up there and all the way down to like the bottom of the bumper and uh you got to really let it warm up too when um and a little really let it warm up when it's cold outside so like when it's in the 40s and even in the 50s i would start it let everything warm up before you start moving it um but that's it you know just you know trying to trying to just figure it out and just trying to get everything together i'm going to if you're interested let me know in the comments but i'm gonna do a video maybe like a two-part or a three-part video about towing a trailer so i've been if you don't know i've been in the rv industry for since oh two off and on i've towed a lot of stuff and um i really see <laughs> i see a lot of people doing it wrong as far as you know just with their actual tow vehicle the tow setup connection height of the trailer and then with strapping the load and positioning i see a lot of problems with all that and so i really want to make a video uh, maybe like a two or three parter on how to do all that properly so if, uh, if you want to see that you think that's interesting let me know and i'll do a video on that because uh it's important and uh you know other people are out on the road with you and uh, if you have something fall off your trailer or you crash i mean it's not just you it's it's other people that are going to be affected so that's it you guys uh, have a happy new year and dave out we'll catch you later